Hey, what up, dudes and guys? I'm Chris from Virus R Us, and I'm gonna give you a review from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This is gonna be uh, the Crank figure, not the original Crank, but uh, that thing that they come out with. So yeah, this is like a cyber body, and it has a little Crank on the stomach, like little Utrons from um, the comic or the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles from the 2000 series. So the figure sucks balls <laughs> well the figure really sucks and the biggest complaint of the figure just gonna give that right away is that our articulation it doesn't have a lot this is a ball joint that's that's it doesn't have more articulation on the hand on the elbow nothing at all no articulation on on the waist the legs just move like this and kind of looks funny like that it's running <laughs> and that's it no knee articulation no feet articulate nothing man nothing at all so to stand this guy is really hard you need to use a stand or something because it's gonna fall down right away it doesn't stand that much and uh, well the other feature is that it has a little crank here super rubbery figure which I don't like because uh, with time it's just gonna fall down and part and the tentacles tend to fall down like this one is just already missing a tentacle I don't know where I put it but it's not gonna be able to to use crazy glue or anything like that to use it again the face on the crank well it's uh, it's uh, kind of cool but still um, I wish it was a different type of plastic but uh, that's what we get and uh, well uh, the figure has some details, a lot of detail, robotic details on him, which makes it uh, look pretty uh, Terminator figure. The face is pretty cool, like soulless <laughs> robot, has a little detail there for the wires and stuff. And uh, has also a kind of metallic paint going on. Which also is, is, is cool that they put that, but uh, I wish it has articulation, man. Um, maybe I can customize it, but it's super thin. Maybe that's why they didn't put any articulation because it's really thin uh, plastic. But uh, they can, maybe they can, could come with something out there. So I only have this guy from that because I grab it loose and I have another one. Um, if I see more loose, I'm gonna get those as well. Just to create a couple of a uh, stoop army build. Uh, to have maybe five of them will be good. That That's gonna be enough. Also gonna show you this guy. Uh, this is the crank that comes with a little uh, booklet with uh, tiny figures also. It's uh, kinda cool also. And uh, I don't remember the name, uh, Prime Crank Prime or something like that it's called. But uh, it's kind of cool, and uh, the plastic is rubbery, but not that much. So I wish the plastic on those guys were like this. So it's pretty cool. It's a big hole here, but uh, I can use this to display for the turtles as well. And also come with this is the the dice, There's the numbers there. It's the mutagen. <laughs> pretty cool. In uh, size comparison, well, uh, let me try to stand this guy together here so we have Mikey and uh, well he's uh, human so it's humanoid and it's gonna be taller than Mikey so pretty cool I do like that maybe you can put this guy here on the head of Mikey <laughs> there we go crank figures uh, recommended to purchase a brand new well uh, if you want to get the two weapons that I came with go ahead you're free to do that but um I'm not gonna pay 10 bucks for that, man. <laughs> they just don't offer anything. And uh, I paid uh, $3 for each of those on the flea market. Uh, like uh, here in TJ, 30 pesos is so it's, it was super cheap for me to purchase those guys. And uh, yeah, this is all. I uh, hope you like the review. Be your sauce. Oh, baby.